Welcome cuties, let's create! Today I'm going to be watercoloring. I haven't watercolored in a long time and I mean if we think back to the last time I watercolored it was in my magnet video but I mean like actual sit down and like paint a watercolor picture instead of you know for something crafty so you know something that I can hang on my wall the only thing is um, I didn't use this is just cardstock and you'll see at the end that there's a problem with just using cardstock when you use watercolors um, it tends to buckle and when I mean by buckle it, it doesn't lay flat anymore and so something that you really need to get and I have some but I didn't get it out because I honestly forgot about it um, I have mixed media paper and what that is is it's just a thicker paper so you can use markers or paints or watercolors and you can use that or you can actually purchase actual watercolor paper which is thicker and so it doesn't have that buckling effect where it will continue to lay flat <clears throat> so that's the only thing that <laughs> in the end doesn't work out is because I didn't get the right paper. So the first thing that I did is I sketched out what I wanted. Now the thing is is you don't want to draw too heavily because watercolor it's not opaque enough that it's going to get rid of the pencil marks. Um, so you have to draw very lightly and if you do draw just make make sure to really um, you'll see here in a second I use a kneaded eraser to kind of get rid of some of the lines but what's difficult is I don't want to get rid of too many lines because then I can't see what I drew <laughs> so um, that's the only thing is draw very very lightly um, and so I, I did draw kind of lightly and so some of my lines ended up getting erased and I wasn't sure where they were and anyway but that's okay so these watercolors are actually just from Walmart and I actually really really like them I think they work pretty well and um, yeah I, I thoroughly enjoy them I have now I have fancy watercolor brushes and I just got these at Hobby Lobby and what they do is in the not the brush part but the other part I can't think of what it would be called um, the staff part <laughs> anyway it's filled with water and so you can like squeeze the the top so you can get more water so I think it's kind of cool I still have a water cup just because you know you have to rinse out the colors from when you go from one to color to the next um, but yeah I think it's very helpful and when you want to do a big um, section or if you're just trying to get the colors wet because with these watercolors is they're a dry pigment and so you have to use the water to get it um, to get the pigment flowing and I guess you could say active um, here I don't know if you just noticed that is another thing that is kind of a bummer when using just regular cardstock is it tends to beat up because the water is actually eating away at the paper so that's another reason why not to use cardstock so don't do what I did here um, I, I just have been using cardstock just because I am keeping um, like a little booklet of all of the art projects that I've been doing and so every art project that I do for YouTube I, I keep it all together so that's why it's just on cardstock instead of regular paper um, so anyway that's besides the point so it was actually really fun um, I didn't really have like a super like with the I want I know I wanted a bush and I know I wanted like colors for like flowers and I didn't like here I didn't actually like use like 
I didn't draw an actual flower, I just kind of did blobs because that's kind of what I like about watercolor is you can get the effect that you're looking for just kind of blobbing it out. You don't have, I mean you can actually show a lot of detail, but you can kind of get away with using very minimum. And so that's kind of what I did like is, um, is I can just blob it on. <laughs> And so, um, so right here I was actually using, so the nice thing is I got the kit at Hobby Lobby and it comes with many different sizes and so I was using the tiny thin one and I'm like, why am I doing this? I have a bigger one. <laughs> so that's why I ended up switching to a bigger one so I can get um, more of the size that I'm wanting. Um, so I, cause I actually really liked this blue. I think it's really pretty. Kind of like a periwinkle, I believe. I think. <laughs> I don't. Okay. Be honest. I don't know names of colors very well. Um, but I really like the color, and so I kind of figured, you know, you think of a window, and I just didn't want to leave it white, and so kind of, you know, maybe having it reflect the color of the sky or you know just sometimes if you look at a window they kind of do have a bluish hue sometimes and so that's kind of what I did with that um, I did leave the window pane I did leave that white um, just because most window panes are white and I didn't want to do gray because I have the um, windowsill gray and so that's what I did there. So here is Jasmine. She had to make her appearance. She hasn't come in a video in a very long time. I was very nervous of her walking all over my paint and so I was like what are you doing? And then I was like okay come here. And so I like lift her up and I'm holding her and I was actually really scared because I was like holding her and she was and I only had like one hand and you know you have to have like two hands to draw so that way you can like hold down the paper with one hand and then paint with the other and so I was kind of nervous because I was like okay I need like a really steady hand for this and you're kind of in the way but eventually she goes away she she was like okay I'm done being held and so I was like okay thank you because <laughs> especially with this so here's the trick with watercolor okay so you put down a color and like you have to make sure if you so okay right here I'm doing a branch and it's going over the window and so I have to make sure that the window the blue paint for the window or the watercolor I have to make sure that it is completely dry because if it's not dry it will bleed into each other and then it will look like a mess and so that's why like sometimes I'll do maybe I'll leave like a little bit of white a little bit of space in between the colors so I can go through because I get impatient <laughs> um, or sometimes like later I am coloring the bird and I didn't wait and I was doing the wing and it kind of bled into each other you won't see it because I edited that part out but that is one thing that you have to make sure is if you were overlapping colors you have to make sure that it is dry because if it isn't dry then it will bleed into each other so and like if you watch when I do these bushes I leave space in between where the like flowers are, the pink blobs, <laughs> and the green because I don't want them to mush together because my flowers were still kind of wet. And so that's what I did is I kind of left this like white space and I actually kind of liked it. That's the nice thing is I feel like watercolor, you can kind of be lazy. Like, I actually kind of really like that, you know, you, you can leave white space and, you know, it doesn't have to look perfect and, 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 you know, that you're just kind of, watercolors, you're just getting like a basic shape. There are certain artists out there that can get a very good looking detailed picture, but 
For me, I actually like when watercolor isn't super detailed, and so that's just what I like about watercolor. And so, I don't know if you just saw, but that's kind of what the idea that I had for my bird is. I kind of wanted to do like yellow, orange, and like this corally red. And so, um, what I ended up doing is I ended up painting the bird yellow, and then I waited until it was dry so then I can go in and then I can use um, the different colors. And that's the nice thing about watercolor as well is you can lift it. That once it's dry, you can actually kind of like reactivate it, I guess you could say, with water. And so, you know, even though the yellow is dry, and then I go over it, you know, with my orange, I can actually get my brush pretty wet, and I can blend it in together. So that's the nice thing about watercolor is you can, you know, here I go over, and, you know, it's staying put, it's staying where it is, but here I go in, and I wet my brush, and then I can, like, blend it in. So that's the nice thing about watercolor is even if you have you know waited hours or even days and it is completely dry you can go in and you can get your brush wet and you can like fix mistakes or you know you can I watercolor is fun I feel like it can be very forgiving um because if you, you know, make a mistake, you can go in, just get your brush really wet, and then you can dab it with, like, a paper towel or a napkin or tissue paper or whatever. You can dab it and kind of lift some of the color, get, you know, that spot wet again, dab it. You know, it's, I feel like watercolor is very, very forgiving because you can lift it even when it's technically dry. Um... So that's what I like about watercolors. I don't know because I've never used like the tube watercolors because you can get watercolor where it's like in a tube and it's actually, it looks like acrylic or it looks like oil paint, but it's watercolor and you just mix that pigment in with water. And so I have never actually used those. I have some, but I've never used them because I actually really like this way better. Um, but I may end up liking the tube watercolor instead. So maybe one day I'll try them. <laughs> um, but I just feel like this way it's, I don't know. I'm just used to this way. And so I know how it works. And that's the thing is like, I actually taught myself how to watercolor. And so the first time that I watercolored, I I didn't wait for it to dry and it got all <laughs> mushy and blended in together. And so that's just one thing that, you know, I learned with time. But I actually really like watercolor. Like I said, I like that I don't have to make it look perfect looking. Um, so there's that. But what I did do, and you'll see at the very end, is after I let it completely dry, I got an inking brush pen and I actually kind of outlined all of the picture in the black. And I really, really like how it turned out because, you know, some lines are really thick and some are thin and I don't know, it just gives me a look that I was really going for and I really like it in the end. So that's just one thing that you can do you don't have to, you know, you can get away with not, you know, having to go in with, you know, an inking pen or a fine liner pen or whatever. Um, I did try a fine liner, but it, the, it didn't like the pigment. And so I had to go in with a brush pen that was like really super inky and that was able to kind of, <clears throat> excuse me, was able to go over without drying out my marker and so that's just kind of what I did but um, yeah I mean you can play around I really suggest these watercolors are really cheap at Walmart you get them in like the art section it's kind of it goes like it's mm, I'm trying to explain of where it would be like it's where all the there is paint pens, there's craft paint, 
and then there's like some art supply and that's that's where I get it and you also can get canvases and stuff like that so that's where I normally also get my canvases is I get them at Walmart <coughs> excuse me and so anyway I really like that and um, I just want to let you know I will leave a link in the description but I started a red bubble and I started this a long time ago and so I what I do is I upload my artwork and red bubble has it where I get so much commission off of um, different things so you can get like if, and I get to choose if going, okay, I have this art piece and you can have it into a skirt or you can have it into a shower curtain. And so I kind of pick and choose. And so I have uploaded a couple of pieces. And so you can get different kind of things with that artwork on there. And um, you don't have to, but that is there if you would like it. Um, I'm also trying to decide if I should open an Etsy shop. So comment down below if you would like me to open an Etsy shop. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, leave a like and a comment. Until next time, keep creating.